Oh, welcome back, tennis fans. Here we are. It's day two, and it is midnight in the UK. If you're down under, you're just starting your afternoon ready for a full day of tennis. Uh, this one is an exciting one. It's Garbina Muguruza, the Spanish legend. She is up against Clara Burrell, a very, very good young French prospect. And we haven't seen much of her on the tour. Uh, but what we have seen has been pretty impressive. Uh, I can't wait for this one. It's sort of the old versus the new uh, school, this one, JD. Yeah, I'm actually a big fan of both players, um, to be Same. fair. Uh, Burrell, someone who I've been watching the last year, sort of come onto the tour, and I think she's an exciting prospect for the future. And Mugur also, of course, been a player for many years who I admire. Um, in Australia as well, there's not many players better than her. Of course, Naomi Osaka's had a really good yeah. couple of years. Apart from that, I would say Mugurus is a close second. She's got to a final, um, not, not the last year, the year before against Sophia Kenin. And then last year, I feel like if she was to beat Osaka, she probably would have gone all the way and won it. So she likes these conditions. She plays well in Australia usually. I think she's a real sort of uh, contender to win the whole Australian Open as well. She was someone yeah. who I had in my mind uh, before we did the bracket and then it didn't end up being that way. Uh, but whatever way we dress it up, Muguruza Burrell, let's see how, how it goes. I'm going to be cheering on Muguruza. Um, yeah, are you going to be the same? I don't know. I am sort of, but there's part of me that I really would love to see Burrell do something really special here today. Uh, I don't know what it is. She is a runner-up in the Australian Open Juniors uh, singles. Uh, that was in 2018. She actually was runner-up in the US Open as well in the junior singles. So she's been a sort of Grand Slam finalist at the junior level on two occasions. So I think that puts you in good st uh, stead for playing here uh, in the actual Australian Open itself. And whereabouts is Clara Burrell in terms of young players coming through? Is she as good as, say, Clara Towson? Is she in front of her, behind her? I think she's there or thereabouts, to be honest. I think Towson's maybe she's not slightly quite ahead. Lela Fernandez at the moment? No, I wouldn't say she's quite there yet, but I wouldn't put it past her to have a good year this year, and she could be up there. Uh, challenging the type of uh, the, like the Alayla Fernandez. I wouldn't say eager yet. Eager's maybe just level above still. Uh, but you've got to remember, it, it's all about experience. And I think Radu Kanu's finding that one out the hard way at the moment. Yeah. Uh, uh, looking at the win predictor, we have 89% for Muguruza here. Heavy, heavy. And Muguruza, she did play uh, one tournament in Sydney got through one round against Alexandrova, but did lose the second round against Kasatkina. That was a straight sets a defeat as well. So didn't expect that. Yeah, I've not watched Burrell for a bit, so... Same. I'm interested to see how she gets on. Muguruza um, is going to be receiving first. They've both got sort of patterns on them. Yeah. Similar outfit. Is it the same kind of outfit, but just different colours? Well, I'd have to have a look a bit closer. Oh, yeah, okay. here striking through the ball oh. hard, and she goes long. Burrell's on the board first. She holds serve. It's one love. Um, I hope Muguruza doesn't suffer with the same thing as what Sakari did uh, last yes. night because oh. she was she did that same shot many times coming inside the court. Burrell hit a weak one, usually finished them off. Nice easy forehand, but went long. Muguruza started in the same way, so hopefully it can improve. It's the first service game. Let's not look too much into it. Uh, but shout out to everyone in the live chat. We've got Fatima here, one of our members. Good to see Ty Brad live here as well. Yeah. Um, what's everyone saying? We've got Ty <laughs> saying Burrell never beaten a top 10. Early days, though, of course. Yeah, yeah. And Jatinda oh. saying, scat off, free love down. <laughs> Uh, he How dare back. you? He said, I'm glad you brought, on, brought up Skatov because he is someone we had a lot of conversations about. He's Ben's number one qualifier He's to watch. Oh, Biden this time. Biden I've never seen time. him do anything positive on a tennis court yet. I know he's young. I don't want to be too offensive. 20 years old. 20 but years Ben, old. I think, definitely got too carried away. So I'm glad Maybe. he's getting a, 
well, a dose of his own medicine. Again, it handed to him early on. Well, Gombos is a gritty veteran in the Grand Slam uh, he's level. He's tired. He's been on call for, call for about four hours. Yeah, but that's what I mean. He's just going to lull him into a full set security, get the first set, let him get ahead, and then he's going to dra- like drag, uh, drag him into deep waters, isn't it? Like the fifth set is where Gombos will fall down, hopefully, if he gets him there. Let's see. <laughs> Let's get a game on the board first, Skatov. Yeah, there's a lot of matches broken. going on. We'll, we'll take you all around the courts. It's these early stages. What yep. I want to get from you guys, though, is who do you think is going to win this match? Do you think Burrell can cause an upset? Or do you think it's going to be really plain sailing for Muguruza? It's going to be tough, mate. This, <laughs> it's going to be really tough. Uh, my personal opinion is it's, it's more than likely going to be straight sets. Uh, if she manages to make them close sets, I think it's a good performance. Okay. I think it's going to be straight sets as well, but I do think it will be close sets. I think we could see like a 7 5 6 4, something like that. Yeah, Mugulutsa sometimes starts a bit slow in the slams. So I wouldn't be surprised to see that. Yeah, I know. This one's probably one of the last matches to kick off of all the first matches that have started as well. Yeah. All, some of them are already uh, three games deep. It's the same as yesterday, really, with yeah. Sarkari. Somehow we've managed to pick the latest midnight game match. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Twice in a row. <laughs> Struff's already up a break against uh, the Flying Dutchman. Yeah, Pedersen oh, there up a break. Tomova. Go on, Tomova. Two yeah. love up against Cornet. Who was saying Cornet was going to win earlier? I don't know, but I've got Cornet. Tomova. She's one of my qualifiers to watch. All of mine on the women have gone through. Just need Tomova. Then I've got a full sweep. Oh, wow, that's decent, mate. How's your one thing getting on? My one's doing all right. Tom Over's doing well. <laughs> she's mine. What do you mean? I had her first. We both got her. No, she oh, no. Was, no, you didn't. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. I did. You had Kukova as your first. No, I never had I had Kuzmova. Kuzmova as your first, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I had her as my first. <laughs> <laughs> I just love to see it. We've got why? Rob McGrady why coming in. Love, I need to, I need to give so a shout out to Robert as well. He was telling me the whole bracket, Ons Jabur's going out. I should have listened to Robert uh, because Ons Jabur did pull out today, unfortunately. So, oh, no. well done. Put my hands up. Robert was right. Scatob, come on. One game on the board. That's what we like to see. We've got David O'Halloran there saying, Mugu has too much power as long as her serve doesn't let her down. And she is someone who can be a bit serve dependent. Yeah, We saw it in that final against Kenin, how if the, when the serve was firing, she was okay. At the moment she was finding second serves, she becomes a more of an average player. But the back end of last year, she won the WTA final. She was arguably the best player on tour on the hard courts last year. Yeah, back end, anyway. What are you talking about? Her uh, back end. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> right. Uh, she no, she was very good. She's just got, as uh David Ferrer said, well, you can't expect she has all the experience. And uh all the other players playing her didn't have the same experience as she did in the WTA finals. Yeah, me too, Ray. I think I had quarters. <laughs> or maybe semis as well. We've been sucked in, unfortunately, well, Ray. We should have known. She was actually <laughs> like uh, alluding to injury before the tournament. But we still went with it. Yeah. Didn't listen. I've the got Sir were... Steyer, uh to beat Kavitova in my bracket, oh, and she's no. currently got a break point, and oh. she's broken. Here we go, Sir Steyer. Oh, God, here we go. I do have her going extremely deep in my event. I think she could be a quarter that final. a semi, <laughs> semi yeah, final. So... <laughs> Who knows with her? She's one of those strange ones that you just never know. Oh, oh great, great winner there. Come on, Burrell. She's so good, Ben. I don't think you've watched her before, have you? Yeah, I've seen her before, but I haven't seen. I've seen her maybe like one. Maybe Have you watched her live, like a full match. No, just highlights. Yeah, I've watched a few. As you know, I think I was gambling on some of the matches. To be fair, <laughs> if I'm honest, but I have watched Burrell in four, and she's a really good player. I like her a lot. And there we go, good serve from her. She looks very calm and collected. Yeah. Not much emotion on her face there as she walks to the changeover, and she leads here two one. Good start hmm. from the young Frenchman. Or French lady, should you say? <laughs> Can you say Frenchman if it's a, no. if it's a lady? No. Oh, that's brilliant. Good start to the... Uh, human. Yeah. If it's human, no French, human. French 
person. I don't know. I don't know what's right or what's wrong anymore. We're in a so world. You can can of you a... say Frenchman if it's a female? Can you say fisherman if it's a female? That's a good question. Let us know in the live chat. Can you say <laughs> fisherman if it's a female? Or is it fisher lady? Oh, fisher lady. That sounds weird. The fisherman's wife. Uh, we've got John Silk saying Greek Sports unbe- has been unbeaten for so long. His last defeat was against Fred Perry. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. And shout out to John Silk. He did a show today on his own and he Go smashed on, it. It got some very great reviews. And I, for one, cannot wait for episode two tomorrow. If you haven't checked out episode one for the review of day one, um, make sure you check it out. It's called The Silk Report. And we're going to be doing that daily during the Grand Slam. So, God, I love yeah. it. Well done to John. I really did enjoy listening to it. It was. It was, it was full of uh, fun facts and in-depth analysis on Rafael Nadal, uh, Naomi Osaka, and many more. Nathan says you call it a, sh- a fisher person. So if it's a female fisherman, it's a fisher person. don't know how accurate that is. That sounds weird. And Kathy's saying Fisher Woman is predictive text on your phone. So Fisher Woman. I don't know. I can't keep up. And Fabio's asking, JG, where's your cap tonight? Did you throw it away? Who said hats off? Well, <laughs> yeah, I, I thought, you know what? I'm going to go without the hat. I've had a haircut, so it's not oh, as wild really? as what it was. So I can get away with no cap for a bit. Yeah, it's good when you've just had it cut. It's like... Uh... You don't even need to do it sometimes when you just wake yeah. up. Nice. Fresh. Nice lazy. Yeah. I like roll out of bed. I, believe it or not, my bed's in this same room. So, <laughs> Australian Open, I roll out of bed and roll onto this chair. It's just perfect. <laughs> for the for the Djokovic trial, you're just going to do it from bed. <laughs> Could have done. Oh, that's a terrible forehand from Burrell. Come on. That was an opportunity. It was a poor serve. Do you still think it's going to be straight sets, Mukurusa? I think so, because I think it's all just down to the business end. We, we, we can play pat a cake all we like for the first few games. Oh. And that's why I think it's like, though, a bit like Mukurusa. I've seen her on many occasions just do this whole, oh, I'm missing this one, I'm missing that one. We're on serve. And suddenly she it gets to four all, and then she breaks. And then I oh, think I could, it could be similar to that in this match, I think. Four all. Then Burrell's like, oh, my God, I'm playing Muguruza in the Australian Open. And then... Uh, yeah, they're knows? both wearing tie-dye. Is that correct? Yeah, it looks like it. Is this the new the thing? tie-dye. It's Karatsova. Is tie-dye it's Karatsova. <laughs> is he, uh, Does that mean is I need he... to get a new tie-dye top to play my tennis? I didn't know it was back in fashion. We've got Ty Brad there saying, I want to be in your bed, JG. Well, Ooh, all right. <laughs> steady yeah, on there, Ty. I think you already... remember. I think I think you've already been in his bed the whole day with all your comments. <laughs> Just calm down. <laughs> yeah, Kathy's saying if you do type Fisher W, the phone predicts woman. So maybe it is Fisher woman. <laughs> oh, Magalutsa, being a bit uh, more offensive there. Yeah, I tried to do a Burrell button. Don't know how many times we're going to get to see that tonight. Oh, it's worth doing though, because we will be playing the Burrell button for many years to come. I'm sure. Yeah, of for it. sure. That's it. That's what I thought. All these youngsters, it's worth doing, like, especially the good youngsters, worth doing. I'm trying to think. I haven't got a Ribikina button yet. We haven't even covered a Ribikina, I don't think. I think we have done Ribikina. Not sure. I think you're gonna have to have a look in the archive, mate. I feel there's like no, we've done a well. There's a no button. button. I don't think. I'd maybe it was one I'd like a last minute one. And there wasn't yeah, okay. time. Oh, just sneaking it over the net yeah. there. Also, very low net clearance, going backhand to the backhand of thing. Now they're exchanging forehands. Uh, and Burrell goes into the net and Muguruza holds. It is two all. And we will have another Spanish button for Muguruza, a bit similar to earlier on today with Badoza. They've got a similar theme, all these Spanish buttons. A few Vamos is in there. Love it. Play it if you want. Me giggling at. Well, you're loving the Spanish buttons. I know you love them. Got Jamie saying, hey, guys, good day at work. Yeah, it was a good day. I got quite a bit done. Obviously, we're only doing half days, but I just worked, well, extra hard just to get a lot done and be in good stead for the end of the month. But really, my focus is on the tennis. I'm so excited for Australian Open. I'm not even needing much sleep at the moment. It was a nightmare. I'm not going to lie. I think 
you've underplayed it. Well, for me, well, obviously we had the new Silk report coming out, so that sort of took over a little bit because I had to do some creation for that just before it started, and that sort of ate into some more work time, and I ended up working till 11 p.m. And now we've just started this an hour. I just had an hour off to create the Burrell button yep. and a bit of food, and now we're into the stream. <laughs> so yeah, I can't tell you to say. I finished about half six, seven, so <laughs> it's not been too bad for me. <laughs> it's been all right. Uh, we've got Troy yeah. there saying, great job, the both of you. Thank you for your insights. Happy to focus on tennis. Ben, love you, bro. <laughs> so, he's back again. He's, he keeps trying to catch you. me, this Troy. Got again. Well, I'm going to read it out. So smart and handsome and sexy, of course. For those who don't know, Troy does have a bit of a crush on Ben. It's been an ongoing theme of some of the streams. So, yeah, we're going to have to be topping you up, Troy, because you are, I think you're staying in, is that his first one today? I think it is. I think he's staying in yeah. third. Don't worry. But he's, he's moving up. And also, Ben, you do need to add Tatty Champ, one of our tippers yes. from the previous stream. She's going to be in fourth spot, I believe. Yeah, Troy. Or maybe about... she could even beat Troy. I'm not sure. It's going to be tight. Troy, a man of wise words, as we know. i got to trust what that guy says. Oh, big hit in here. This is really good from Burrell. It's a great volley. But she's volleyed oh. again. And Mugurusa, oh, she wow. finished it off. What a rally. Rally of the match so far. So I feel good. a bit sorry for Burrell. She didn't do much wrong, but yeah, it's been a really exciting start of this match. I've not been looking around some of the other results. No, same. I'm very fascinated good. in how this match is going. <laughs> Maybe we just look when we do the changeovers. I think that's No, listen, I, I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look until there's a bit of a, a lull in this match. Right now, it started very, very well. Three break points So I'm now. focused on this match purely, and it is three break points. Nathan's asking, do you think, uh, guys, one day you'll do this as a full-time job? It is the aim, but the yeah. only way we can do that is if you join the Patreon or the membership. Ultimately, through ad revenue, it doesn't really work out, and we're not, never going to be able to afford it, Re irrelevant to how many views. It's going to be based on how many patrons we can get. So if you want to help us do this full time, join the patron. Um, here we go. Muguruza does break and she breaks to love. No one can shock her, can stop her. Gaminya Muguruza inside her, her fire. Just working on the tip. There you go. It's updated now. Cheers, mate. Oh, Tatty Champ is just in front. I know. Troy's in fourth. Uh, in, Ty I is saw. asking, how do you join the membership? You can do that through YouTube. Uh, literally next to the subscribe button, there's a button that says join. And yeah, it's as simple as that. You get some emojis in the live chat and your name appears in a different color. And for every month you are uh, a member, I believe you get a new player. And it goes up and up. It's quite it's quite cool. I don't know all the ins and outs of it, but I'm excited to see how the next few months progress with the membership. <laughs> Jamie wants to know where's where's the Bamos been? Bamos. <laughs> there you go. And Troy's got you working, Ben. Yeah, he wants I number know. three. <laughs> he doesn't Cheers want me to that, watch tennis tonight. <laughs> Classic. Oh, a good volley! Brilliant hands at the net. I feel really sorry for Burrell because she's played pretty good. Uh, but Muguruza yeah. just using their experience. Good time in there, coming to the net, and there's nothing she could have done. But a Burrell playing like this bodes well for the future. And she's probably a bit unlucky. She's got Muguruza. If she drew uh, Sarkari yesterday, she could have beaten her in this form. Deep oh, on the baseline, backhand to backhand. Sort of looping one there, a bit of a moon ball from Burrell. And another one, she's pushed Muguruza back, but then goes into the net. That's a poor shot from her. We've got 19 some uh... minutes played, and Muguruza in control. 
We've got some contrasting views in the live chat. We've got Boz now looks like Ben is very versatile musically. And then Nathan with what an awful song. Who does these? So <laughs> not, not for everybody's taste, apparently. Right. Oh, that's a terrible first serve. Javis wants to know, is Rindernick gonna gonna win? Oh, Ganara gonna win. Uh who's he playing? Is the probably we the first We both predicted question. him, yeah. We yeah. both picked him. Oh, that's so Whoa, good. big hit in there. Well hit. That was really good. What? oh, so I was wondering what she was doing then. She's doing her shoelace up there, Mugalutha. Zero smile. Very, very serious player, bro. Good. I didn't realise she was that serious. But that was a big winner, and she looked upset with it. I think she's upset that she just got broken so easily. It wasn't like a competitive service game she got broken in. you got Galler asking me, what do you think of Rafa's outfit for this year's Australian Open? Listen, Oof. Rafa can wear anything and I'll always like it. Or but, nothing. Or nothing. But <laughs> if I'm honest, it's not my favourite one. It really uh... isn't. That may surprise you, but... Better than the black one, though. I don't know. I still, I think I preferred the black. I'm, I'm just not a fan of this one. I, 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 apologies for all the people who do like it, but mm. it's not my favourite one. One thing I do like is the is the cap he's been wearing recently, the light blue cap. I have been trying to look for one online, but I couldn't find it. Let me know if anyone <laughs> finds one. Searching online for it. Why not, mate? But cheers for the question, Gala. Yeah, if you haven't already, hit the like button on this video up to 57. Let's try and get to 100 likes before the end of this first set. Uh, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Nice forehand down the line from Mugalutsa. Oh, he's too <laughs> good there. Hits the lines. Gosh, she's good, isn't she? Very. I kind of wish I went back and had her win in it now. She's looking, she's looking tasty, yeah? I know. I think the size difference and the power difference is just so evident in this match. Here you go. Jack like the uh, Jack. <laughs> John liked the black one as well. Oh, okay. I thought it was all right. I think it's better than the one he's wearing at the Australian Open. I don't know. I, I don't mind it. Yeah, the orange it. one's nice, Nathan. I agree. But I love the luminous yellow one he wore. I like the uh, light oh, yeah, blue yeah, one yeah. actually. Yeah, I like the one yeah. he wore in the uh, in the final of Roland Garros when he when beat he Djokovic. It. That was a yeah. really nice outfit with the sort of red or orangey headband. Oh, it's beautiful. That's a piece of art. <laughs> that one keeps no. me up at night. Don't want to know why. Uh, right here we go. Juice and Mugalutsa trying her best to consolidate. No, she That's why it's breakpoint Burrell. Breakpoint Burrell. Warning. And Bob and they're saying the fastest set tonight goes to Gombos over <laughs> Scatter. You love <laughs> to see it. Ben versus JG. And uh, suck on that, Ben. Suck on that. I don't want to suck on that. Don't what so... a terrible prediction from you. Kick so your disgusting. number one to watch. Don't be so disgusting. God, there's women present. Oh, this is a big point. Come on, Barrett. Oh, you looked it wide. Scat a... off. Number one to watch. Are these the six, other six three in the end. They're not bad. That it's quite good. He's terrible, Ben. It's his I'm first sorry. ever Grand Slam. Why are you picking him to watch? Then he's not that good. It's his first Grand Slam. It's definitely you've overhyped him. You've, you've got to watch somebody him. in their first Grand Slam tournament. See how they perform. Twenty years old. He's love 15 now. <laughs> he's he's broken straight he's away. He's not very good, is he? Mate, he's a 200 and what in the world? At 53. Norbert, 26 uh, minutes. Cheers, Boban. Keep us updated how scout, our scout off gets on. For a 6 3, that's pretty quick for a 6 3, has to be said. Can't be in very long games. Yeah, no, there's there's been one break point in the whole. One break point, that's it. 
My three, but he took me on the first occasion. Oh, what a serve on break points. He's gone the same way. Oh, oh she's cast oh. Up. Lara Burrell. Burrell. She's got the match. And get that button out, Ben. Put my life's in the courts and this how I live it. Hold my life with these thoughts. I don't have no limit. The hidden balls left and right. I don't know how to give it. You're on the floor and I know that I'm glad I did it. <laughs> Listen, no, I'll bro. be honest. I don't have a clue what was what you were saying at the start of that button. Wow, well, we'll get to play it a few more times. Yeah, I need uh... to hear it again because for me, I it just it was a bit of a blur. Did anyone understand the start? It took me a while to come up with any sort of lyrics that would fit into this. I was like saying all sorts of nonsense for the first 10 minutes. Then it finally I found some sort of lyrics that fitted. Barsnock says that has to be the only Clara Burrell song that will ever be <laughs> created. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. Oh, and Bahamut saying dig in the Burrell button. <laughs> I'd love to hear it. And we've got Troy there. He's going oh, up. To number two. Troy, 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 He's Troy. Trying to Troy, catch Wally. Troy. He's saying, boys, haven't you heard? It's not women anymore. It's birth in person. What? Birth in person. <laughs> what? Is that, is that real? <laughs> no, it's because... I think he's just making a joke. It's the non-binary. Oh, yeah, he's joke. on the gender. He's on the gender jokes. Oh, I love it. That's not going to get us cancelled. <laughs> Cheers, Troy. That's demonetized. <laughs> this video. Brilliant. Oh, big smash. Muguruza for L's there. <gasps> oh, again. I missed it. Oh, that was short lived, this uh, break, wasn't it? Yeah, she's playing so well. What a point. Yeah. I mean, to talk about that passing shot. It was incredible. Yeah, it was really good. Right. I kind of want to watch it back. Do you not think it's annoying sometimes we can't re like rewind the tennis? Yeah, when especially then they don't show you the replays. It would just yeah, be nice. I'd love to, to have... see that replay again. Oh, is that break to love? <laughs> yeah, not ideal. <laughs> it went so quick, but Mugulus has broken straight back and it is to love. I don't know where any of the buttons are. It's all moved they, around. No, they haven't moved. They're all underneath the other buttons. Always the two. <laughs> Mugarusa. No one can shock her, can stop her. Caminha Mugarusa. Inside her, a fire. Mugarusa. 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 I almost pricked. I almost picked. Um, God, I can't speak tonight. I know. I, I accidentally clicked on um, the Silk Report outro. <laughs> <laughs> we can watch it once if you fancy. <laughs> <I don't mind. laughs> Send us in a tip and you can see the Silk Report intro if you really want. It's a very popular one from today. <laughs> Buzz not saying the longing voice from Ben is a bit much. Oh, Ooh. not liking that one. <laughs> I do have a strap, so I know, isn't it? Oh, oh, good volley. It's on the stretch. Done well there, Muglutsa. Should have moved her feet, really. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating, but what a match this is. It's Very really good. good, isn't it? It's so exciting. I don't, I can't really. I'm not looking at any of the other scores, and I kind of want to know. Troy saying, Ben, have to get a song for the Silk Report. <laughs> well, there's an intro uh, news theme. I don't know about a song. He's not that famous yet. Yeah, well, wait until so he gets there. there to oh. another break point, go up a double break against Kavitova. Oh, apparently. And you wonder the... why they call me uh, Jay Genius, eh? Yeah. 
So the Muglutha song is very romantic, though. <laughs> Appreciate that, David. So my Spanish singing accent is really something. Oh, at least I'm doing something right. My predictions might be terrible, but my Spanish singing and accent Burrell. is doing well. Go on, Burrell, put it away. Well Good done, shot. girl. Well, we had a lot of volleys here, aren't we? Yeah, they both seem to be meeting and a lot of volley. Here. <laughs> they're both meeting at the net quite a lot as well. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> this Me is a them. real sort of highlight, real match. I quite like it though. Yeah. It's got like a, a real dog fight about it. Not enough people watching this on the court from or in the stands. Yeah, I'd love to be there right now. Definitely. Well, Thomas Rock, thanks for the super chat, buddy. Muguruza song is kind of like a Latin Tom Waits. <laughs> I'm not even from that familiar with this uh, artist. Apologies. That's probably making me look very silly. Nice winner there from Clara Burrell down the line, trying to break straight back to force us into a business end here in this first set. I think she deserves to break back. I think so. It's just her service. I think her serve can be improved a little bit. But in terms of returning, she's dealing with the Muguruza serve pretty well. Getting into the rallies. And uh, causing some damage off them forehands. But Tom, you've uh, filled up number five. The leaderboard is full. And that will be running all the way through the Australian Open. If you want to win the top tippers of the Australian Open, all you have to do is send us a super chat or send it via the PayPal link. And you can get on that top tipper leaderboard and be eligible for some prizes at the end of this year. Because we will be totaling up all of the people, all the people from the top tippers, all the winners, and we will be giving these guys something uh, just to say thanks. Tom just saying, oops, I went into boomer mode. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm normally just always in that mode. So, And there's Sir uh, Stajak, Skolin Kvitova. I just saw it coming. And really? People didn't. It's just Jay Genius again, isn't it? You laughed at me on the on the draw preview. I always laugh. Now, when, I always laugh when Sestaya gets put through quite far, though. That's the problem. Oh, here we I've... go. They're coming to the net again. Oh, does she pass oh. it? No, I think it's just wide. It it's is still just the first wide. set. I thought you were saying it like it was like she was already a set and a break or something. I didn't realize it was still first set. Yeah, and just like that, Mugurusa consolidates the break, and it's five three, one game away from the first set. <laughs> Guess what? He ain't no bitch. It's Marin Cilic who's taking the first set. <laughs> and that is six games to three against uh, Emilio Gomez. And we've got Travaglia serving out for the first set against Batista Agu, as John Silk would say. Agu. That hurts, that one. Yeah. How far do you have him going? You normally have him in the semis yeah, or something. I've got, him, I've got him far. Not semis, but quarters, I think. I thought that one could be a potential five setter for some reason. Batista are good. Anyone could be a potential five setter, though, to be honest. That's true. It's not, it's not really a great prediction from me. Uh, none of the women's matches have finished the first set yet. No. Although we've got a few set points. Oh, Tom Over's doing well. Uh, that lasted long. Lost like five games in a row. Great. That's all my qualifiers. <laughs> really Have you got any qualifiers that have won their first I don't know. I can't think of one at the moment off the top of my head. There might have been one that snuck through. Who knows? No, there isn't. It's Leheka. What do you mean? He Gatov. hasn't played yet. You can't. Mahak and Lehechka have not played yet. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So no one's won all yet. Right. Yeah, all right. Three set points of Muguruza. She's turned it on now. Gatov's just biding his time. He's going to take a. Take his time, wait until the third maybe to get going and then maybe take it to Gombos, the, the weary legs she, of Norbert she, Gombos. She does return it and it's a deep Ooh, one on the baseline. Mugurusa here goes soft now. Great shot down the line from Thing. One. Is it still in? Yeah, it is. Oh, I think wow. Mugurusa is going to seal it. She's doing well to hang in here. She comes to yeah, the net. She does. Yeah, yeah. Too good. Too good. Mugurusa takes it. It's a game to love. Back to back games to love for her. Um, and Muguruza turns it on when it matters. 35 minutes, 6-3. No one can 
Shaka can stop her. Kaminya Muguruza inside her. A fire. Kaminya Muguruza. Muguruza. Fabio wants to know, do I normally sing Mugalutz's song while having a shower? No, but maybe I will from now on. <laughs> don't normally, it's a bit weird. Like, I always thought it was weird, like people singing in the shower. Is that a weird thing? No, I've I sing never, in the shower. I've, I've never really done it. Like, I might give it a go though, because it's, uh, it's, it's quite popular, it seems. Mate, I actually do sing in the shower. What type of thing do you sing? I don't sing words, it's more humming. Oh, okay. To tunes, but it can be quite loud because I'll bang my foot on the <laughs> on the floor, <laughs> so everyone can hear vibrations. And usually, I'll get an angry person sort of knocking on the door and shut up. Really? Yeah. What? It's not really singing. <laughs> oh my! Great neighbour you are. <laughs> no, not on the door like that. I mean, someone oh. who one of my family members. Oh, I thought you meant like someone <laughs> knocking <laughs> on the, the bathroom door, not a neighbour. Oh. What, and they're saying, like, shut up, or what? Yeah, because they must really? hear the vibrations through the house. Oh, okay. Interesting. There we go. Race and acoustics are good. Yeah, got a nice bit of uh, reverb in the uh, bathroom, for sure. Oh, Shout out to, to Luke M for yeah. joining the membership. Come on. Great to have some new members. That's it. Troy Leach saying, is it one of your kids? I don't Nothing have any of them. <laughs> I'm still a kid myself. Aren't we all? <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, the... How did she get that one back? She's got Clawed some pace, isn't bro? Yeah, it's nippy. Nips around the bottom of the court there. Looks a lot more, a lot uh, warmer there today than it did yesterday. Set myself up with some little shelves here now. I don't know. Pop, pop a beer on a shelf now. Scat off under pressure. It's a juice. Is he going to be able to get out of this service game? <laughs> God, not already, is it? Oh. And Batista of Guts turned it around. It's 5 all. Oh, obviously, didn't he? He's gonna, that's going to go tie break. He loves a tie break. He does like a tie break. He loves uh, defending break points as well. That's Ooh. one of his favourite things. Got some set points for Swartzman. Another player Ooh, I really like. Swartz. Diego. Can't remember what his button even sounds like. We haven't even played it in so long. I think it is. Is it Diego? No. Is it not? No, that? that's Matteo. Yeah, oh, it's right. it's uh, Diego. Diego. That one. Similar to Matteo. What's it? Ty, saying I'm, Ty thinks I'm 18 years old. It's probably, it's just not far off. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah tom's right i'm 57 57 forever Got a big nice hit in right here. oh it comes she to the net in. no it's a Mugurusa poor shot with the lob it is a good lob it's a she's great it lob. back in play but i think she's gonna finish this one off isn't she oh she's hit it straight to her yeah Got to put that one I do love Mugur, so I'm a bit yeah. annoyed that I didn't, I I didn't pull her through and actually pick her to win the whole thing. We had her both in our predictions as well. Yeah, I'm start your shocked. predictions. We both picked Mugur before the draw was released. And then when the draw was out, neither of us picked her. So I'm she's actually... definitely going to win now. Yeah. Definitely. I'm a bit sad. I didn't. I think I had her into the semis and then losing to Eager, I think. Isn't it funny how everyone always wants to guess my, my age? This has been a, a theme for the last year and a half, I feel. Yeah. Not just my age, my age and my name. My full name, people want to know, and they want to know my age. Yep. I'm never going to tell you. If you become a GOAT uh, patron, I'll tell you. That's the rule. Ooh, I like that rule. 
And we've only got one of them. That's the King Leon. <laughs> the King is the goat. Just that, that I've just noticed that thing on the bottom is bugging me. There you go. Oh. Fabio saying Ben's beard's just turned 14. <laughs> <laughs> You're not far off. Uh, no. I remember when I first started growing like, or getting like some sort of beard it and and like maintaining it on my chin for a bit and it was just I'm now I look back I was thinking like what was that it was not really and people there was always like older like guys who go to the pub like who were just the regulars would always like take the piss out of it and you were like god this is actually a beard you're like that's not a beard like, now I know <laughs> it wasn't a <not> beard <laughs> Now I'm the one who takes <laughs> No, I don't. <laughs> Not allowed to the pub. <laughs> Here we go. She's into the net again. Oh, it's very attacking tennis. Yeah, Whatever like way it. this one goes, it's going to be a quick match. I'm sure of it. Which makes me think maybe we should do an early match in the morning before Radu Kanu. For those who don't know, we'll be covering Sloan Stevens, Radu Kanu. Yep. Um, so make sure to join us for that. Uh, to do so, hit the subscribe button so you get alerted when we go live. And like this video, it really does help us out. Cheers, guys. Yeah, Dan DeCastro, do birds live in that <laughs> family guy? I don't know if you've seen that episode. I think where I the, have, main, yeah. the main yeah. guy grows a beard and then they all live in there. That's quite funny. I do often think about that. Oh, good hit in here from Mugalutsa. Burrell holding her own, though. Supermodel nah. saying JG's 30, Ben's 34. Um, Catherine Zanny might be 35 or 37. <laughs> yeah, I think you're, you're more along the right lines, I think, there. <laughs> you can't say that when they say 18. <laughs> what about this for a name? Bosnop, Jacob G Jacob Gingle. So what's the last bit? Am I just Schmidt? Am I German? <laughs> Jacob Gingle, am I just Schmidt? What a name? I like it. Oh. Poor Burrell here. Muguruza moving her from left to right. Backhand slice now. A slice from Burrell. It's a good oh, drop shot. Oh, Burrell. Beautiful. I think we have a, let's have another here of that button because that's a great drop shot from her. All my life's in the courts in the how I live it. All my life with these thoughts, I don't have no limit. The hidden balls left and right, I don't know how to give it. You're on the floor and I know that I'm glad I did it. Mate, I'm sorry, that start is not English. That is definitely not English. All I hear is this. So, I'm actually, I'm actually up to, I'm actually up to date with how they actually do it these days then, so that's good. At least I've managed to conform with That is definitely game. not English, the start of that. It is. You've got to listen to it because it's in like an American accent. Oh, it's in a... It just muttered a few nah, noises. Mate, it's because... So, you you got to realise, when you have to rhyme certain words, you have to sort of roll the words so that they become rounder, so that it all like blends into like a, a rhyming thing. That's what the only way I could do it so that certain words can rhyme with each other. I yeah. can't even remember what the, I'd have to hear it again to, to tell you what the lyrics are. I didn't write them down. I just made them up on the spot. Oh, one break point save. Another one coming up. Yeah, let me, let me, I'll, I'll take you through the lyrics uh, if I can... You must remember them. You 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 sung it. Huh? How can you forget the lyrics? You wrote it. No, I didn't write it though. I just did it on the spot, and then I just thought, what next? What next? What next? I only had like ten minutes to make it, so I was like, right, next, okay, that that one fits, and then I had to go for another one. So the first line oh, is she saves it. Another one, big winner from a Mugurusa on the stretch. Couldn't get there. It's juice. All my life. Uh, all my life in these courts, this is how I live it. That's the first bit. All these so I was trying to court, try and like keep it like it. in in these courts. Was going to be like imagine if they're in the court or something in the courtroom. It could be or it could be Ooh. on the tennis court. I've had enough of the courtroom. I know that's what I mean. That's I thought I'd throw it in there. Like 
because if it was a little rap thing, it could be about like being in court on something like that. But then, a bit of play on words. Jamie saying Ben's turning gangster. Yeah, he says all my life with these thoughts, I don't have no limit. Is the second line. Oh, <laughs> very deep. He's like, I'm hitting balls left and right. I know how to give it. <laughs> <laughs> And then the final one you can understand. So it's you're on up. the you're on you're on the floor, and I know that I'm glad I did it. A dog? I know that's what I mean. It's Clara Burrell. <laughs> She's <laughs> giving you hell. The only thing I wanted to include was she has a story to tell. That was I thought that one could be like a little another rhyme, but I couldn't fit it in. Not a good second serve. Mughal also attacks it. Does she finish it off? Gonna get another <laughs> smash. And she does Aye. it. Another break point. Come on. Buzz no. <laughs> <It's been> <laughs> Those lyrics are too hot. So hot no one could understand them. This is brilliant. Yeah, mutter rap. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's called mutter. It's mumble rap. Mumble rap. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Here we go. Yeah. Break point number three. Back to the match, Ben. I have a couple of kids running around the east side, apparently. <laughs> right. Mugalutsa with oh. a nice long. Burrell saves a break point, but from no work of the run. Doesn't want to get broken early here, that's for sure. Oh, Gombos has broken early in the second set. Oh, Skatov, what are you doing to me? I just don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I've just, I just simply do not understand. The odds are so close as well for that match. I don't know the what bookies, the bookies are doing. I don't know what you're doing. Are, the they probably great. watched the podcast. They've been corrupted. Yeah, I think that they did for some of those other odds that they were on the other day. There were some crazy odds, weren't there? Wasn't it Gyofchik? <laughs> Gyofchik. 3.25 in the end. Oh, Troy's in again. Cheers for that. Yeah, it's always I've got to finish th- that one off. And it is advantage Burrell. Troy says, I've got a 13-year-old boy. He says, hey, Dad. I say, mate, you can't prove that. We don't know. That's just what your mother claims. <laughs> <laughs> While Liam's away, we've got Troy as the, yeah. <laughs> the live chat doker. We like it. All right. Cheers, for I appreciate the super chat. I'll add that on. I've, I remember how much it equates to now, so I don't have to keep on going in and doing a conversion anymore. Oh, nice forehand cross court rally here. Mm, into, into the, the net, net, man. There you go. Burrell holds. Big hold that as well. Massive yeah. hold. So we know what the tactics are for Mugurusa. It's front yeah. foot tennis and come to the net at any opportunity she can. She fancies her volley in. Her tactic clearly is she doesn't want to rally with Burrell much. She wants to nah. put her, she wants to try and hit that killer shot early. If she don't, so be it. She'll go again in the next point. And just trying to kick quick rallies. Maybe that is her her way of saying if she wants to win this slam, she's gonna have to get through some of these first rounds quickly. Mm, definitely hot conditions out there. She probably doesn't want to be out there for too long either. Right, Mugurut to serving. One all. Oh, messed up the ball toss. The sun's getting in her eyes, I think, a, a bit with these ball tosses. Nice forehand return, but yeah, put away easy. One of our new members, Luke, uh, is asking, you guys, are you going to do an Australian Open all-nighter? We're well, not tonight, but it could be a possibility the later the event goes on. Yeah. And right. Thomas Rock, they're saying <laughs> El Jejino. That'd be my <laughs> Spanish name. El Jejino. Hmm. Come on, Burrell. Do something a bit. Uh, let's give it a bit of welly. Drop, drop shot. shot from her. I like it. She's mixing it up. She's forcing really the good, issue. Yeah. That's what you need to do. No, you can't criticize Burrell today, mate. I'm not no. going to let you do that. She's been I pretty didn't. good. Who did? You just said, oh, come on, Brown, we need to do something. She's been she doing quite to force, well. This is a force the issue a bit, and she just did. 
She just did exactly that. She needs to do something a bit different to try and because you can't do the baseline rallies so much with Muguruza because she brought her in and then she exploited her, and I like that. How's right. Sustaya doing? Yes, Sustaya is up a break in the oh, second. God, here we go. J genius. J genius. And Batista Agu has taken the first. They're all doing it. Tonight, tonight seems a better night than yesterday for my bracket already. Chilich up 4 1 in the second. Who else we got? Cole Schreiber's doing all right. Up a set. Yeah. Chris O'Connell, yes, up a set yeah, against that's Hugo one way Gaston. I've, him. I've got Gaston to beat him, actually. Uh, yeah. What other women's ones are on? Uh, Mertens ahead against Vonareva. One set to love. Anyone else of a note? Um, not really. Uh, Stoja, isn't this her last ever Australian Open, isn't it? Yeah. Her last tournament. That's right. So she's 6 5 on serve. She's trying to serve to stay in the first set. Oh, good serve from Muglitzer. And then she attacks the net. Can she pass? It's a poor volley. Can she pass again? It's a good volley. Fat you. Well, apparently Catherine's saying JG commentary looks like rap. Are you rapping whilst you're commentating? I'm sure what she means. When you speak, it sort of sounds like you like when you know when you hear certain people speak, it comes out like rap. Don't start. Maybe she meant so there's a C missing <laughs> at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as eloquent as John put it that way but Ben you're being harsh on Burrell John knows I am I am being harsh but I expect the world from these youngsters come on you're the future of our sport Oh, she's hitting the ball well right now. Oh, that one's looped up. She's done the wrong way. We oh, do, wow. The lob? Nah. Smash. Never getting that. Oh. New balls, please. Oh. New season. Same joke. <laughs> what tournament don't was that for? I don't know, Ben. Doing that. I don't That's know. Every, every tournament last year. No, ah, what there was that every, <laughs> between every single. No, you uh... need to listen. I want you to. This is something you need to do this year as a New Year's resolution. You still time because we're in January. I want you to come up with some new jokes, okay, uh... for the stream. I don't want to hear the same jokes. I want to hear the some new catchphrases, if anything. Yeah, but for, for there's listen. Fair enough. There's some people in the chat who've never heard them. Unfortunately exactly. for me, I'm in here every single time, so I have to hear the same jokes every I know. time. I know. That's why I like doing them. I know that you're going to squirm when I do it. <laughs> Gives me joy. Oh, two break hold. points for Gombas. <laughs> Come on, Timothy. What are you doing? You look so, so good bad. in qualifying. He's not good, Ben. He's no, a really, really bad not, player. He's really... Do you see these results before the Australian Open? No, he's not a good player. I don't know. I don't know what you was doing when you said that. Do you know, I thought it was a joke. Did you see his result before the Australian Open qualifier? I don't. I do know who he is because you know I do watch quite a bit of challenges, and he's not good. Did he's alright. He pulls. Did, uh, who did he lose to? Uh, Mitchell Kruger. Oh yeah, it's not. Did it's you not see good the score enough. though? No, what was the score? <laughs> six love, six one. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, know. Then when I saw that after I'd already picked it, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> Definitely not winning. Dude, could you not tell from my reaction? That there was no good. justifying it after that, though. After I saw that result, I was like, Kruger, really? That is the... He's not a world beater. Sorry, Mitchell, but... We've got uh, Thomas Rock there. Uh, another two, Ben. Add him yeah. on. Saying, does I'm... this mean we have to cancel Duty Stella? No. Look, see, I'm... I'm Thomas Rock's claiming that he wants the boomers to stay around so i'll uh stay around for thomas rock no duty stella i think i think that's allowed to stay forever we'll accept oh, that love and that. we've got Bahuma put me on the spot here saying let's hear some of your jokes jd <laughs> yeah. fair enough so i've got one 
Let me just. I've got a few up my sleeve. Um, I'm going to start with this one. <laughs> He's got a start up his sleeve. What? You've written. They've got these waiting in the wings. Right, let me just have a little look. What one did I write down for earlier? It's no. Like... Um, I'm going to start with this one. <laughs> Timothy Skatov. There you go. <laughs> just say that. There you go. Yeah, Ben's know. bracket. Yeah, everyone open it up. That's the best joke. <laughs> no, okay, right. So what is... <laughs> oh, no. 147 people. If you haven't already, give us a like on the video. Come on. Subscribe if you do. My joke for everyone is this. What is a plumber's oh. favourite vegetable? Oh. Is this our cracker? <laughs> No, it's not out of a cracker. Am I supposed to be the one who says, I don't know. What is Obama's favourite vegetable? Oh, it's a leek. Oh, God. (laughs) (laughs) I've got plenty more. Don't worry, guys. I'm here all night. (laughs) I apologise if we've offended anybody. (laughs) See, any no, we just ve- gained some, We've got another six people in the stream. Any any vegans in are offended by that joke? I'm sorry. Oh, gosh. How did that go down anyway? Might open um, another beer. Four kids said, oh, my God. Kathy just <laughs> hogged in her face. <laughs> and Tom just said, hell yeah. Even more dad jokes in 2022. <laughs> oh, Bahamut. Did Bahamut like it? or No, that's a shock face i believe Catherine's home why does why ben doesn't support the spanish guys i do He's i do like a lot of them i'm not anti rafa at all i'm anti jg unfortunately jg claims a lot of players to be his own and i can't i'm not allowed to select any of them because they're his players apparently so that makes me instantly dislike them because he won't let me go anywhere near them. So that makes me cheer against them just to see him fail, which is a sad way to do things because he's just very greedy with his... Okay. Uh, well, plans. can you answer me this then, Ben? As someone who's been doing tennis podcasts now for the last two years, I would hope you'd have built up some kind of knowledge of the game of tennis, maybe some players, no. you know, who's good, who's not so good. No, no. Where in the hell did Timothy Scatoff come on your mind have not just not <laughs> just a qualified to watch your number one qualified to watch he was above thomas mahak no, he, he was wasn't in order he, he was in order we it knew it was in, in order. proper order it though. was in proper order i had liam brody as my number one and you went timothy scatoff what was going through your mind when you did that selection and uh, just, wasn't, just what, before you answer let's see how he's getting on oh he's doing all right he just broke back, isn't he? I've got the match on, so I can tell you he's getting on. <laughs> I've got both matches on. Has he just broke back? Yeah, yeah, he did. <laughs> oh, he's going to win now, I know. <laughs> but anyway, Skatov, I didn't put them in any particular order. Those were my three qualifiers to watch. Ben. I know we were supposed to have a number one, but ben. it just is what it is. Ben, are you lying now? No, definitely not. Did I tell you we were doing it in an order before we started? Do you know that we were picking them literally two minutes before we went live? And you're like, come on, I need them now. Which order? And I'm like, all right, this one. that There you go. I've sent them. Oh, it's a volley at the net. Muguru's sub breaks in the second. It's 3-1 to the Spaniard. No one can shock her, can stop her. Caminha, Muguru's inside her. A fire, Gabinia, 3 break points, Skatov. Come on, Skatov. I didn't, I didn't want the button to end because I knew it was coming. Uh, Brandon said it's the worst pick of all time. Bob Band saying, I almost picked Skatov based on Ben's <laughs> comments, but then reason him prevailed. Well, let's wait and see because he's Tom, he's doing all right at the minute. Tom's focused on this match. He's going vamos. Uh, it's serve, over. Gombas. Muggle wins. Yeah, I think so. I don't think Burrell can come back, but she can leave here with her head held high. It's not been a bad performance from her. She's just come up against one of the best players in the world right now. I'm still really excited to see what the future holds for Burrell. I think there's a lot uh, ahead for her, for sure. Yeah. She's only uh, 20. Oh, Batista are good. It's ripping Travaglia apart now. 
things you love to see, Ben. Well, yeah, Batista Agu grinding in a Grand Slam. Always great to see. To stay a 5-1 up in oh, that second set. come on. What's going ole, on? Ole, ole, ole. <laughs> Why did you pick Kvitova, Ben? Played it too safe. The oldies, isn't it? I'm always going oldies. I've got, I've got a good mix in the oldies and youngies. The, the one that I'm really hoping for is Anne Lee. That's the one I really need to do well yeah, in this that's tournament. Good point. If she and does I'll, well. I'll have to respect you if she does do well because that's a really good pick. Yeah, I'm hoping if she, I want to see her versus Sabalenka and I want to see Sabalenka out at the hands of Anne Lee. Troy, they're keeping you busy, Ben. Oh, Skatov's wasted three Just break Troy. points for crying out loud. Add another one for, for Troy, please. Another? Just the one? Just How the you one. doing, Dylan? Good to have you in, buddy. Hi, Dylan. All right, one. All right, it's harder to add on just the one. It's a weird denomination. All right, okay. Uh, all right, okay, it's added. Whew, God, stressful. Uh, is that a consolidation for Mogadusa? Um, I don't know. Who's in track? I think it is. Just over the hour, uh, Mogadusa consolidates 4 1. <laughs> Doing the tippers. <laughs> Take my, they're on different screens. I've got one that, but as soon as I look over here, I'm not what no longer watching the tennis doing the tippers. Maybe I need to keep all of them on one screen. So, Van der Zanslop's doing well. Another big lad. event for him. He likes yeah. the slams, doesn't he? No? Massive. Gotta love him. The flying Dutch Dutchman flying the flag. Hopefully Talon can uh, follow in his... And what well, he did, he fought, he yeah. beat Fanini, didn't he? Hopefully he can do another one. And that, I've oh. told you, that was always going to be a safe bet. He was at Evens, Greek sport. Yeah. And he bageled uh, Fabio in one set. You didn't Man, fancy it, though, did you, when I was saying? Not the straight sets, but I know that you were saying that he should do him. There was part of me that was just like, oh, I just didn't think he would do it that that comfortably, but I'm so happy for him. Um, he's my dark horse for the whole tournament. So, yeah, Zach's here, one of our patrons. How are we doing, mate? Saying Sir Steyer has been demolishing Kvitova on verge of winning the match with a breadstick. Let's remember as well, Talon Griekspor's last loss only came to the hands of Novak Djokovic. So he's no longer in the tournament. Surely, Talon Griekspor, it's open for him to go on and win the Australian Open. No, because he'll probably draw Rafa. And then he withdraw because he's scared of it. Oh, yeah, he withdrew. No, that was just to maintain it and leading into it, to keep the confidence going into the big stage. Hits the net court, bounces the wrong side. Burrell gets Rafa, the point. 30 left. Rafa was like, I need to win this tournament for some confidence. Can you please not play it, if that's all right? Uh, and he was like, okay, out of respect to you, Rafa, I'll withdraw. <laughs> I really wanted to watch that match as well. Yeah, me too. Oh, Stoja's just lost the first set. That's sad. I know. I really wanted to win, even though I didn't do it in my bracket. I actually really wanted yeah, to Yeah, I did it in my bracket just because I wanted it, but I don't think she was going to. doesn't look like she is either. Kvitova, is she, is she done and dusted? Is this is this it for Kvitova? I think so, yeah. I'm pretty happy very with just, that one. Very just, yeah, it's a good one. Who's to stay? I got in the next round. I'll just have a quick look. She will be playing if she goes through. That is the winner of Kuchever and Doi. Yeah, it's a nice little draw there. Mm -hmm. Nice little section. Good shot again from Burrell. Yeah. Keeping Come on. the pressure on, keeping it just one break. Mugurusa. Thing is, she served okay, hasn't she? Look, 73% first serve. She's won 79% yeah. behind her third. Her second serve and first serve have been pretty much the same. Not really affected much. I think is if you look right at the Burrell the serve, though, <laughs> them second serves have not been good. Look at, at the double faults. <laughs> nine double faults. Oh, nice I don't pass. think there's been nine double faults. 
I didn't can you verify that, that on the website? I'm gonna go and have a look at quickly. Just yeah, to it's make worth sure. looking. I don't think there's. I don't think I've ten. seen nine double faults. Ten. Ten apparently, yeah. Ten double faults, bro. I know. I haven't. I don't recall that, but it's quite a lot. <laughs> that, at least we know what she. We know what she needs to improve on. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember actually. Fair play, Zach. You had Sir Stair as well. I remember now in the draw preview. Well done, mate. She's one that when she gets going, she's actually pretty uh, formidable. So, well done. Uh, Bobman's asking, do, do you think Svona Raver has a chance? I definitely yeah. think she does, yeah. She's 4-1 up against Mertens in the second set. What was that? Did you see that? What happened? Was it like a trick shot she just did? Look at this. No, it doesn't. It's weird. It must be the what? camera angle. It looked like, for me, it looked like she pretended to hit the ball, missed it, and then hit it the other way. Oh. But so maybe she know. just did a, a like a trick. Maybe it just she tripped or something, yeah. It looked a bit know. awkward, but it worked. Muguru also gets the point, 15-0. I was hoping the slow, the instant replay Ooh. would have shown something else. Great hit there from uh, Burrell, forcing her back. I think that's where Burrell has sort of failed here today, is not keeping the ball deep enough in the court. Mugalutsa is able to step in and really hammer the ball back at her. Can't do that with that type of player. Gone boss 5-2 up in the second. <laughs> and where's, where's Skatov gone wrong today, Ben? He had three break points. And like he's love forty on the Gombos serve. It's just so sad to see. And he was he could, uh, to level it at three all, and he just fell away. Maybe he's still working on the tactic, get him into deep into the third, and then uh, hopefully Gombos's legs go. We'll have to wait and see. It's a very risky tactic <laughs> to employ to uh, drag someone into a third set with a full sense of security. <laughs> Here we go. This, is, this is an opportunity for Burrell though Ben let's focus on this because it is 15.30 right now cheers to Troy another super chat moving uh, well you're still behind but you're uh, solid second place at least it's a joke Ben we'll, we'll read it out in a sec because there's two break yeah, yeah. points I just want to focus on the match for us Oh, it's taking a while. Let's read it out now. Two guinea pigs <laughs> in a pub having a beer. One turned to the other. Are you getting the jab? The other said, no, I'm waiting for the human trials to end. <laughs> but <I'm on>. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite funny. I like it. I was When I heard jab, I was thinking, oh, Djokovic is going to be on the second line, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Break point here for Burrell. Massive right now. Come on. Break point. Second one. Can she do it? Oh, it's that ball toss again. That was a terrible one. Barely threw it up. Nice return. Into the net, yeah. Oh. Clara, Clara, Clara. Not my favourite Clara, I have to say. She'll be playing uh, probably later on, I think. Clara Towson. The Hummets asking, how many games do you think uh, Harriet will win against Eager? Four. Yeah, I think I think four as well. Or five. <laughs> she, if she ends up winning, what do we do then? Good serve. Mugurusa steps in. Volley. That is something she is yeah. extremely good at, isn't it? Reading the court very well. We have Towson on at 4 a.m. I think Mugurusa for me is the best drive volley on the women's side. Serena Williams as well. Yeah, yeah. I'm Andreescu sorry. was great that year when she won the US Open. Yep. Oh, she's, she's into the, the net. Lock. Oh, she just got a racket on it. Oh, Great fantastic volley. Fantastic hands, mate. That's elite. That is elite tennis there from Muguruza. And she holds to go 5-2 up. 
Well played, Muguruza. No one can shock her, can stop her. Caminha, Muguruza. Inside her, a fire. Caminha, Muguruza. Muguruza. Massive. That's huge. Uh, she had the break points there. Burrell couldn't take them. And now uh, it's sort of curtains for Burrell, I think. She could lose it in this next game. So Steyer has beaten Kvitova 6-2, 6-2. Gombos so. has taken the second set. So that one 6-2 as well. Racket um, falling to pieces. And we've got Cole Schreiber up two sets to love against Chechenato. Oh, O'Connell's doing great, though. Well done, Chris. Three love up with a break point in that second. That's great to see. Uh, Chilich absolutely battering Gomez. Didn't see that going Yeah, there's the quite other a few one-sided matches, actually, tonight. Corne yeah. smashing Tomova. Yeah, who else we got? We got Dodin's Kuchab a good one, because Dodin was at three. Yeah. She was the underdog in this match. Big underdog. I mean, that would be more 50-50, that match. I don't know how she was such a nah, big underdog. You're only saying that in hindsight now, though, Ben, I think. No, I don't think so. You picked Begu for your bracket. Yeah, I know, but they're, like, close in the rankings. Dodin, I rate, but I thought Begu might do her. I don't know why. I just, yeah, for me, it was a bit of a pick -em. They're, like, yeah. 85th and 64 in the rankings. Close. I went Dodin. It looks like yeah. it's going all right at the moment. At least it Mertens, is. though, just disappointing. I don't know why I keep <laughs> picking her to win matches. See, that 4-2 can I'm turn really, into... No, I'm, I promise you, though, Ben, I'm getting to the end of my tether with Elise Mertens now. That could turn I've around. I've given her so many chances. Win. She could win that set. She's been 4-1 down. She could easily, that set, turn into her winning it. It's frustrating as an understatement. VDZ is doing pretty well. Yeah, that was me, Martin. Uh, it was an error, that one. But Pelka smashed him. I was a bit oh. shocked. I thought Anderson could have done a bit better. It's a court for the fast servers, though. Is Anderson not a big server? I know, but I think Pelka trumps him. Mm. I think he's just younger. And bigger server. Umber doing all right. Gasquet trying to run him close in that second set, though. All right. Is there any way back here for Burrell? Mugalutz close to getting a match point here. Into the net. Oh, She's not going to get one now. No. 30 all. 30 all. And a Burrell. quick match, isn't it? Look, one hour 13. Yep. Pretty quick. So far, out of the matches we've covered, Mugalutz are the most impressive? Yeah, I'd say so. I think I've. I what more really... impressive than Badoza? I was just worried that Badoza with the injury. I think Badoza's hit better winners, but the all round game of Mugalutsa and her court, like her movement on the court, looks better than Badoza. Yeah. Of course, we didn't get to watch Osaka. No. But she was really impressive so far yeah. in her first match. Barty, yeah, arguably the most the impressive, best. was really so good. Uh, and Mugalusa, I think them three have been real sort of. Uh, standout performers in this side of the women's and first there. Yeah, I looks of it. I want to see the highlights. See how well she's playing. Great shot there, winner from Burrell. Match point. Wait, was that, that a match? Was it a match yeah. point? <laughs> yeah, once we missed it. It's all right. She saved it. <laughs> saved us. Saved our bacon. Apologies to any vegans in. Oh, it's the line. Yeah, I like it. She goes that... drop shot. Oh, I like the Mugurusa drop shot. there, and she misses Wide. it. Advantage Burrell. She's going to try and make Mugurusa serve this out for a free and free. O'Connell did get the break, by the way, mate. Nice. It's great to see. Four love up. What time's the Silk Report tomorrow? So for those who want to know, the Silk Report will be at about 4 o'clock. 4 p.m. UK time. Hopefully, you can uh, join join in the live chat. 
Uh, I will be behind the scenes like I was today. For those who don't know, I was there waiting, just behind in the in the theatre room, just pressing the buttons, <laughs> pressing the chats. So if you notice that John's not reading your chat out, um, that's just him not looking at the stream. I am noticing them, and I'm trying to spur him on to read them, but he doesn't always see them. Don't worry, it's, pra- it's first time. Yeah. It's uh, a learning. On, on, literally, I'll be honest. I thought it was a really good show. I listened yeah. to it. It was forty minutes. It went so quick because I found it very interesting. John, uh, uh, he's natural. Talking he's about natural Rafa, player, that's it? why it flew past. It was no, like, the Rafa. Oh. It was only three minutes. What was it? Oh, okay. <laughs> so we're talking about his trainers for about ten minutes. <laughs> no. <laughs> Into the net. Oh, match point. And this is the second match point for Mugurusa. Match point. Oh, yeah. Krachikova. Good shout, Zach. Yep. She had a bagel, didn't she? Um, yeah. Krachikova could really be one to watch as well. There we go. Garda saying she's loving the Silk Report. Uh, you should add <laughs> into the pod more often. Love the chats you three have. Yeah, of course. John's a legend. We're going to get him on when we can. And uh, sure. we just wanted to give him his own show because he deserves one. And we know it's going to be interesting because we love listening to him. So I'm sure you guys will as well. Yeah, he has a very good insight on uh, everything tennis and has a very uh, good depth of knowledge as well. He's very presentable. He he can present a good tennis story to you, which and flows his, from from place to place. And if you listen vocabulary. to me, it's very jump start. <laughs> and his vocabulary is much more vast than uh, myself and JG. That's for sure. Yeah, Alex asking, how surprised are you about Goff's first round exit? I'm shocked, if I'm honest. Yeah, I am. I'm well. not shocked by that though, because that is another double fault for Burrell. And it's match, match point, point number three. Match point. She's been watching Sabalenka too much for my liking. That's not who you want to get your tips from. I think this is going to be it. It's going to be oh. second serve here for Burrell. Facing the third match point. Muguruza blows on her it. hand. Don't she looks zoned it. in. One hour 17. Is it going to be a 6-3, 6 No, oh, it's not. Saved it. Saved it. Saved by the bell. I wasn't sure if it was going to be a double fault again, but it was just in. And this game's been over six minutes so far. Van der Zanschlup takes the second set against uh, Jan Struff. Six games to three. See if there's anyone. Tom Over's nearly dead. 5-2 down in the second. Stoja, three love up in the second. Go on, Stoja. Oh, the slice down the line. Nice backhand. Backhand to back. going to come to the net. That's what I'm waiting yeah, for. No. Oh, she didn't. Oh, it's no, she should Is this the, the turning point? Oh, Troy's in again. Troy's coming for Wally. Watch out, Wally. He's saying the Silk Report clearly, clearly needs some investment by the GTL team into hair and makeup. <laughs> what are you trying well, to with say? your tips, Troy, maybe we can... Give John a bit of a spruce up. Oh, what, how, how do you want his hair? Nice perm or? Oh, but what? quickly, Ben. Burrell has saved their match points. She's got oh. out of her service game. That's class from the youngster. Shout out to her. All my life's in the courts in the how I live it. All my life with these thoughts, I don't have no limit. My hidden balls left and right, I don't know how to give it. You're on the floor and I know that I'm glad I did it. I like this idea from Kathy Cornrose for Johnson. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I think that's a money well spent. <laughs> we can get him in Cornrows. <laughs> oh, genius. <laughs> Either that or pigtails. Maybe we'll take a poll. Like we can get one of John Silk on the next Silk Report. Uh, 
We'll put a poll out on the community. Maybe you should go with a bandana and um, sunglasses look. Oh, like the uh, Roland Garros look. Oh, Burrell is always oh, love 30. Is Muguruza. That's not. What are you talking about? Oh, was that it? was he got the wrong. Oh. They've switched. <laughs> it's the same side. It's into the net and it's 15. Oh, I got two carried steady away. on. Steady on. I thought it was love 30 then. I was getting too excited. I was Jay, Jay wants to know how do you guys even know John Silk? Well, that's a very long story. Um, he was ben drunk and in a John German Silk bar. No. <laughs> they're related. <laughs> So... <laughs> JG was uh, stumbling around Germany in the early hours and uh, he passed out in some bar and then uh, some guy helped him back uh, to his hotel and uh, paid for the taxi and it just turned out to be a good Samaritan John Silk that uh, helped him uh, saved his life on that fateful night in Germany John Silk is the son of Ben <laughs> <laughs> there we go that's the news 1530 Clara Burrell Ben did predict it is coming so that is a, such a good serve when yeah. the press is on that's what the big players do serve an unreturnable one hour 20 and Muguruza back within two points to, to claim this match yeah she's had the match points already can she get another? No. Second serve. I think it's nearly about time Skatov makes his move on this match. <laughs> oh, it's a double fault. Oh, no. It's break point. Burrell. Go on, Clara. Jamie wants a shaved head for John. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Can we just all let John just stay as he is? Or is Have you ever shaved much? your head? No. I did it once. I've never done it and I never planned to. Yeah, I did it once only just because I thought, I just wanted to see once what it looks like and then never again. <laughs> Do you during COVID, everyone was sort of shaving their heads? Yeah, I know because they, they were no sick barbers. Of... I know. I saw some dodgy ones that my friend's wives gave them. Oh, oh the break the point saved. Yeah, she well, stops on the ground. That was such a big moment. I think that was the chance, really. Yeah. I feel like very... we're going to see a big serve from from Muguruza. He'd set up match point. <sighs> Let's wait and see. That's my prediction. What's your prediction here? I think a big serve out wide, unreturnable. Burrell gets a racket, but she can't do anything with it. What I'm do you say think? Burrell gets another break point. Oh, so she's gonna have to do this on the second serve. Yeah, exactly. My one's not looking as likely. Yours she's is looking a, more likely. She's looking a bit f like a little frailty at the moment on the serving. Oh, Burrell goes big, goes big again. Ben she's right on defensive here. mode. Yeah, he is. Yes. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> have you noticed man. one thing as well, with Burrell? Uh, when Muguruza's is serving. Burrell's moving to the forehand side every mm. time. She'll step over during the service motion of Muguruza as if to put her off. As we know, Roger Federer, someone who does this a lot, he's always moving when the opponent's serving. Yeah. Um, it could be a good tactic. But the thing is with her, on the second serve, she's always moving to the forehand side. If you're Muguruza, mm. play it down the tee. Well, easier said than done. Oh, come on, they can do that. I think she I just needs to, she needs to use some common sense here. She's always moving. Just play it the other way. Oh, great return there from Burrell. She steps in. Finish it. I oh, straight back to her. Finish She's done it. it she has She's done it. Come on. Burrell breaks back. All my life's in the courts, in the how I live it. All my life with these thoughts, I don't have no limit. But hitting balls left and right, I don't know how to give it. You're on the floor, and I know that I'm glad I did it. Wow. Wow. But the problem is, 
Now she's got a serve. It's <laughs> 12 double faults in this match. She's more likely to lose this match on serve than she is uh, with Muguruza serving, I think. That's the sad reality. Gaston, upper break in the third. Vamos. Wow. Or should I say, Ale? Ooh. <laughs> JG throwing in some linguistics there for us. Guys, if you are just joining us, please hit a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're one of the newbies that's just joined us. God, I tell you, we're trying, well, we've been getting quite a we few need 14 subs. 14 more likes, though, Ben, on this one. 14 oh. away at the moment. And we've got close to 200 in. So let's try and get to 100 likes, guys. Come on. <laughs> Robert's saying, is this Ben singing about Burrell heating balls? No, hitting. Come on. <laughs> Taking it out of context. <laughs> oh, that's a great backhand for Mugulotta. I didn't realize O'Connell bageled Gaston in <laughs> the second set. What happened there? Go on, Chris. I think he's saving his energy. Maybe. How's uh, Skatov getting on, Ben? Oh, mate, he's absolutely uh, averaging it in this third set. He's trying to make every game long as possible, so he's gone 30 all on his own serve to try and... like He wants to drag <laughs> Gombos into the real uh, deep waters. The problem is, Ben, I'm never ever going to be able to watch Skatov again without thinking of this. Well, so if anything, I've put him on the map for people around yeah, the you world. You have, but the thing is, I probably would have warmed to him with time, but now I can never really warm to him because I know he was 20. your number one qualifier to watch in the 2022 Australian Open. All of the my ones are my number one, really, but it's just a shame you have to give them a number, really. Mahak, always, guys, we've had him on the pod. Bit of a legend. Lehechka's playing Dimitrov, which is tough. I think you're going to have a 0% success rate with the quality. What do you think Mahak's going to go out? Probably, considering you oh, picked him. That's so mean. Disappointed. Stoja's smashing it up. Woo. Come on. She's got a win. So Doi's out. Event. Kuchova's through. Kuchova. Oh, and here we go. Three yeah. match points for Muguruza. That's what I thought. Match point. Seven likes away. Come on, if you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. We'll be doing Raducanu, Sloan Stevens in the morning. Maybe another, if you're lucky. And it's going to be second serve. Looking at the match point, I think Mugurus is going to step into this one and really wallop the ball. Why not? Just go for it. What have you got to lose? She does exactly that. Oh, terrible. And she loses the point because it is wild. <laughs> Scouts only hit three winners in the whole match. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no, God. he is terrible. I, I just don't know what to say. I've watched him. I've, I have watched him before. I remember thinking, how's this guy a professional? <laughs> Three winners is the, it's probably the worst I've seen of anybody. Even the people who have lost really no, badly. No, there was a late two. um who was it now? I forget. There was a, a woman who went through, but quickly back to the match. Mugurusa seals it. Six three, six four, never in doubt, really. Not even a smile from Mugurusa after she wins that. She walks to the net. Congratulate, congratulated by Burrell. And Mugurusa in the hat for the next round, and she'll be facing Ben. <laughs> no one can shock her, can stop her. Gaminia Mugurusa inside her, a fire. Gaminia Mugurusa Mugurusa. Elise Cornet. Elise Cornet, who's just beaten Tamova. Yeah, one of my other qualifiers. So they're getting through the matches pretty quickly. A lot of straight sets won tonight. Yeah, a lot of them. Uh, Gasquet's just taken the second set against Ugo Umber, though, in a tie break. Go on, rolling back the years there, Richard. That backhand's probably pinging, as always. I'll tell his... you, we'll be pleased with that. Daniel Medvedev. He will not want to play on, but yeah, he's hoping Gasquet can win that. 
Yeah, Gasquet with that half grip that he uh, loves to have on his racket as well. Always an interesting one to see. But anyway, how yeah. did you rate this match then, Ben? I thought it was great. I actually really enjoyed it. Despite all the double faults from Clara Burrell, she really needs to tidy that up. I think she's got all the makings of somebody who can really progress in future Grand Slams, but just need a better droid. She's got to just work hard throughout the year to get herself into position to be like either a seed or something like that. And then she can have a good run, I think, in the slam for sure. Yeah, I know you were talking about scat off a second ago and on fourth <laughs> there. But Brengel, oh, she no. hit one winner the what? entire match. And, and one? she won. What? Have a look at the Brengel Yastrzemska game yesterday. One. The score was 6 1. And she then she lost the second set, 6 love. And then she won the third, 5 love walkover. And she hit one winner. In the home. What? What? In the whole match, that's yeah. so strange. It's one of the craziest stats I've seen, for those who don't know. Uh, Brengel, she's going into the next round, but not in good form. I don't know what that has to say about Yastrzemska. That must be pretty 60 terrible. The unforced though. errors from Yastrzemska. Yeah. Well, not quite 100 like Karatsev. But um, yeah, I think that sort of sums up <laughs> this match. It was a pretty quick one, but Muguruza's yeah. through to the next round. Make sure to join us tomorrow morning for Radu Kanu uh, playing Sloan Stevens. We're going to keep an eye on the tennis now. Um, and then we'll, I don't know, we may, we may do one in the morning, but just just make sure you hit the bell on the, on the channel. Subscribe if you're new and you'll be alerted when we are to go live. And of course, we do have John Silk episode number two to fill you in with all of the latest for day two. Uh, but do you have anything left to say, Ben? No, other than... Uh... Hopefully Skatov can turn it around in the third. But, well, yeah, we'll see you in the morning in the UK, in the evening, if you're down under. Only one way to end the Silk Cripple outro.